Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I'm going to be talking about sprouting seeds. Now I've done a video about sprouting seeds before, but in this one, I'm just gonna be doing another overview. I've never done lentils before, which is what I have here. And I've never done broccoli before, which is what I have here. There's all sorts of different uh, seeds that you can sprout, but today I'm gonna be trying lentils and broccoli. Now they each have directions on them and you can use them in a variety of containers. I'm going to be using a, um, a jar and a plastic bag. Now the reason I'm using a plastic bag is because I want to see if it's going to work for like a bug out situation, if I can use it in my bag, something like that. Most containers should work, but I'm going to be checking this out. So I'm putting the broccoli seeds in the Ziploc bag just a little bit because I don't want to do like a whole ton. And then I'm gonna be putting the lentil seeds in this jar. Again, I'm not, I don't wanna do a ton, but you can do a lot. Uh, so it just kinda of depends. But um, yeah, the directions are gonna be on the bags on how much water and all that. The very first thing that you do with them is you soak them anywhere from six to 12 hours. It really depends on the seeds. Most say up to 12 hours. So, you know, like the lentils said eight to 12. I think the broccoli said six to 12. <clears throat> but I usually do the full 12 hours and it's always worked for me. So all you do is you just soak the seeds just like this. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. We're gonna check it back in 12 hours. After the 12 hours, you rinse the seeds um, anywhere from one to two, one to, some of times it's one to three times a day, sometimes it's just one to two times a day. So you're just gonna rinse them. You don't need a lot of water to rinse them. You literally just kind of swish them back and forth like this, real gentle. And then uh, you're just going to drain it. I mean, that's it. With the Ziploc bag, I actually had to really, uh, you know, seal it tight because the broccoli seeds were so small. But this is on day two, I think. You can already see that it's sprouting there. But yeah, I mean, rinsing is super easy, just nice and gentle. A little bit of water, just rinse them. And, uh, you know, here's the same with the lentils. You know, you just like I said, literally rinse them just uh, two or three times a day. All right, so I had said it's day five. I let it go a day longer, but these are the broccoli ones. They smell very much like broccoli. I've never had the broccoli or the lentils one, so we're gonna give them both a try. This one smells very typical sprout, and then this one smells very broccoli. It's cool, so okay, let's give them a try. The broccoli one actually came out a lot smaller sprouts than I was expecting. And so that's why I kind of gave it like an extra day or two because I was like, hmm, maybe they're not fully grown. I think they could grow maybe a little bit, but what I'm most surprised about is that they grew in the bag. So very quickly before I give these a taste test, the bags did work. And I think the type of container that you use for sprouting doesn't really like 100% matter. Just as long as the sprouts have ways to grow and you have a way to, you know, rinse it and stuff like that. You know, and you have, it has to have air intake, okay? So you can't just seal off the Ziploc bag and put it in your bag and, and let it go, right? Um, you have to have some sort of, of, um, of air. So anyway, the bags work. Um, would I be able to just zip this up and throw it in my bug out bag, you know, as I'm walking around? No, um, it, you can't, especially not the first day because it has water in it. Um, you know, just as long as it has that airflow. So. Anyway, this is the broccoli. I'm gonna get the broccoli a try, just straight sprouts. Mmm, that's my favorite sprout so far. It tastes just like broccoli. Go figure, <laughs> broccoli sprouts taste like broccoli. Newsflash. <laughs> that's so good. I would totally eat these straight. I love them. I am a little disappointed that a lot of the seeds did not sprout. The, where you source your seeds, let me see if I can show you, where you source your seeds really does matter. Um, so I'm probably not going to get seeds, but a lot of the seeds did not sprout. So that's pretty disappointing. Where you source your seeds, it does matter. So I will not be buying from that place again. I'll be leaving a review. Um, but okay, let's try the lentil sprouts. There we go. These are lentil sprouts. A little different there. Mm. These aren't bad, actually. They, uh, I like these better than 
like I said, red, I think I did red wheat sprouts, I think. The very first time I sprouted, but this is good. I'm not a fan of sprouts, okay? But these sprouts are actually really tasty. I will be keeping um, lentil sprouts and broccoli sprouts around. I'll be getting different from a different source, but um, I think sprouting is just a really great way to get nutrients um, in a very short amount of time, very little resources. You know, all you need is um, the seeds, some sort of container, you know, um, and water, that's it. And, you know, a slight dark space. I wouldn't put it in direct sunlight, keep it out of direct sun, but otherwise keep it in a sort of dark place. Um, you know, humidity doesn't matter. We live in a very humid place and it doesn't, I think it mold or anything like that. Of course, you know, now you want to, you know, just straight up eat it um, or try to preserve it in some way. Like, uh, you know, if you, if you were able to put it in some refrigeration. So I think sprouting is a really great way to get extra nutrients, you know, throw this on your food, you know, throw it on your beans and your rice and things like that to get a little extra nutrients. And this is a great way to grow something like maybe if you're in between, you know, gardening and stuff like that, um, you know, to get the, a good, you know, nutritional source. So I'm going to be using these in my salads and sandwiches and all sorts of things. So thank you all so much for watching Conk Tomorrow by preparing today. I'm going to put a link down below to where you can go check out some sprouts for yourself and, uh, you can always, always read reviews on the sprouts and make sure that you're getting these seeds from a good source. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all later. Bye.